What's up party people? How are you all doing? I just wanted to start this vlog. It's Saturday night. I'm about to go out for, I don't know, just casual drinks. And uh, just wanted to say hi. Just wanted to check in. Look at this piece of hair. It's absolutely driving me cray cray. It's driving me crazy. I've been trying to like put it down, make it stick, but it just doesn't work. So I'm just waiting for it to grow back and just fall down on its own. Grr. <laughs> First world problems. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna head off now. I'm gonna bring my camera, but I'm not sure I'm gonna take it out uh, because there are gonna be a lot of people there and I don't know most of them, so it might be a bit awkward. So maybe I'll film some nice uh, night scenes? I don't know, we'll see. So here I am, eating my food, being the worst vlogger ever because I'm not showing you what I'm eating and today is quite interesting, it's the first time I'm trying this out. So I need to go grocery shopping and I'm a little bit short on food but I did have some lettuce? Is it lettuce or cabbage? I never know, I think it's cabbage. <laughs> pretty sure it's cabbage. So I had some cabbage and some carrots and some cheese. So I made these cabbage wraps. Hey guys, I don't know if I'm gonna post this segment because I'm in, <laughs> I'm kind of in a horrid mood right now. Um, this is not the first time it's happened in a very short amount of, of time. I, I feel like I may be walking around with a please kick me sign somewhere that I can't see, but I was walking in the street and this guy clearly mentally ill just comes up to me, blocks me, shoves me and then as I try to get away he kicks me and tries to trip me and I know he's mentally ill but ugh. this is not the first time it's happened a few weeks ago I was getting on a train and obviously I'd waited for all the passengers that needed to get off to get off and some guy decided oh I'm gonna get off now and shoved me off the train you know, saying like, get out of the f***ing way like literally shoved me, like use his shoulder and like shoved me out of the way and that was not a mentally ill guy, it was just a horrible guy who shoved me out of, out of the way and then right there in the street like all these people were looking at me getting kicked by this dude and nothing did anything did nothing about it and I just walked away and I know it's nothing I mean I wasn't like hurt or anything I mean I've got this bruise on my leg from where he kicked me but I mean I'm not it's not a big deal and at the same time I'm like ah I know it's like technically not a big deal like really I mean the guy was sick uh, I might have I might have resembled something someone anything could could have set him off I don't know why he picked me to to get angry on but I I'm a sensitive soul and these kind of things affect me I just felt really sorry for myself I went to the store got what I, I was out there to get came back and on the way back I was terrified to cross paths with him again I felt really vulnerable and I hate that feeling, I mean he's not gonna probably not, I mean mentally unstable, you don't know, he's probably not gonna hurt me or he's not, even if he does want to hurt me there are people around so hopefully someone would intervene or I can defend myself but And now I'm crying about it. Awesome. What I'm trying to say is that it made me feel very vulnerable to a point that it was scary. It made me feel very alone because... I don't know, it must be a girl thing. I like, I like feeling safe and I used to feel safe but now that my situation has changed, I don't feel safe 
anymore and being pushed around by all these guys at the moment it just it doesn't feel very nice and I don't know why I'm saying this on a vlog honestly I don't I think I just wanted to vent this is why I, I don't know if I'm gonna even publish this <laughs> honestly but yeah safety is a lot feeling safe means a lot the safety of a guy feeling safe around people around other men is important and when you take safety away and when you take safety away you feel very naked and that's what i felt today coming home from the store I had a long walk and I didn't know if the guy was still gonna be around and I felt completely... Ugh, I felt horrible. I don't like it. I didn't like feeling like that at all. It actually makes me want to walk around with my baseball bat all the time. Oh, I did not like that at all. Anyway, I'm home now. And there's this rational part of me that's like... It's not a big deal. It's really not a big deal. It was just a sick guy who lost his shit and I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. But the other part of me who needs to feel safe is like really, really making a big deal out of this. <laughs> so yeah, I gotta get back to work. Hello, how are you all doing? It's Thursday and it's a beautiful gorgeous day outside so I'm thinking I'm gonna go for a walk outside and you guys are gonna come with me I still don't know where I'm going but I want to go in a park so I'm gonna find a park and I'm gonna walk in it and I'm just gonna soak up in some vitamin D I need a little break of working indoors so I'm gonna go out I'm gonna take a book with me I'm gonna get my sketchbook out I'm gonna bring anything out that will keep me outdoors and yeah we're gonna go. I've already uh, cleaned up my balcony, uh, taken all the weeds out, getting the pots ready and uh, wondering what on earth am I gonna plant this year for spring and summer. But yeah, the balcony is done so I have nothing else to do <laughs> indoors anymore. So I'm gonna go outside. I feel like I keep... I feel like I keep catching you uh, just on the way out of something at the moment but that's basically how it's been either I'm working at a desk which is pretty boring or I'm just outside going uh, for admin stuff or running around and going to meet people who don't want to be on camera so there we go so yeah this is my look for today this is my no makeup makeup look <laughs> where I basically just do concealer eyebrows and uh, yeah basically that's it so yeah I'm not sure where I'm gonna go yet but I know I want to get out of this apartment and into the great outdoors can you tell I just blew my nose my schnoose yes I guess you can also guys okay let me sit down I don't know why I just want to sit down um, also, I just shaved my head again, just a little. I didn't do this side. I thought I'd wait a bit to see if I actually want to shave that side again or let it grow out because I heard that if you um, shave both the sides of your head and you're thinking about growing it out and sometimes, I have to be honest, I think about growing it out, you should start with one side at the time. What the hell? Oh, it's this old... <laughs> this old braid sticking in my hair okay so yeah you should start with one side and then with the other so i thought well this side so i thought this side is pretty tame and growing slowly whereas that side when it grows back it goes like like that so yeah i'm gonna stick with this at the moment and then i'll see if i shave that side again also what do you think of the color of my hair at the moment i really like it it's getting less and less brassy probably thanks to the blue conditioning treating shampoo i have finally it's getting to a color that i like also guys weirdest thing well weird for me i guess you don't really care but i've been getting Owl City songs stuck in my head for the entire week now and it's now Thursday but I spent four days of Owl City stuck in my head I have to confess something to you guys I used to love Owl City when I was about 18, 19 and it was, it was, it was this really intense guilty pleasure of mine I never told any about it I never told anybody about it but 
I used to have a really long commute in the mornings to go to art school at that time. It was in Brussels and I wasn't living in Brussels. I was living way in the countryside. So I had to take like a train, then a bus or a metro. I don't even remember in what order. I had the longest commute and it was really early in the morning and the sun wasn't up yet. And I just remember putting in Owl City and it was so chilled and relaxed and I could listen to it as the sun came up when I was just arriving by train or by bus. I don't even remember. And I could just listen to it. And I've been having that stuck in my head again and it was and it's so weird because I still kind of like it even though I'm, I mean the puns still make me cringe and it's still like oh I'm living on unicorn land when I'm listening to this song but that's so awesome that's really great that's so funny that it's coming back to me now and uh, it really puts me in a good mood so guilty pleasure reactivated but sh because I'm actually kind of like I don't know why I'm embarrassed about it, just because of how... I don't know, it's Owl City, guys. I mean, if you remember Owl City, I don't even know if that guy does anything anymore, but... So yeah, Owl City. So weird. And I remember all the lyrics. Well, not all of, all of, not all of the lyrics, but there were, there were some songs that I'm, I remember particularly well. And I can still see myself in the bus, the sun just starting to rise, and just feeling nice and comfortable and chill and you know when you're 18 well maybe not i don't remember well i don't know if most people felt like that when they were 18 but i felt really peppy and young and free and i enjoyed still feeling like a kid i just still feel like a kid and our city just made me feel like cute and i don't know i don't know <laughs> I'm still a bit kid. I'm still a weirdo. I'm still like a complete weirdo. The weirdest thing though is that I love I love rock and roll, I love metal and stuff, but like yeah, sometimes I'll listen to some Owl City and just chill and be like, oh rainbows and unicorn poop and everything. Yeah. Anyway, let's get going because that was a weird story. So <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go check my hair. I think I need to pee. I always feel like I need to pee when I go and then it turns out I don't have to pee or if I ignore it, it will turn out that I do have to pee and I'll be in the outdoors and it'll be too late I, I keep saying the outdoors like I'm going into the wilderness but I'm just exiting the apartment so yeah, life of a recluse artist, anybody? hmm, see you in a moment, guys got the sun in my eyes I don't have any sunglasses this is gonna be my spot for the afternoon I'm gonna read here and <laughs> put a sketch here, I think as long as the sun is out, that's for sure. Mm. Well, like the dummy that I am, I brought my sketchbook, but I didn't bring my pencils. Luckily, I found a pen in my bag, so I was able to draw a little bit. I don't know, but much later now i'm back from the park i stayed there for about three hours i think in total and at the end and at the end i was getting really really cold so i came back home and i'm gonna end this vlog because for the past few vlogs i haven't been doing a proper ending so i am doing that right now i just want to wish you a an excellent week and hope you're having fun and yada 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 i'll see you all very soon guys take care i'll word you all